think Steve's that too. <laughs> what the? F Hi. He said, "Ooh, it, it dipped." <laughs> I'm going to work. Hello. I gotta make money for my family. Work on a convenience store. What's up? It's time. I need to get ready for work. All right. Movement. W A S C. Bro, it's dark. Oh, what is this? Filter. Uh, Slap. Wow. All right. Good for you. What the hell? Bro, where are we living? How do I know how to get to work? I don't know where I'm going. This is my first time out here. Bro, I don't know where my job is. How am I supposed to know? Hello? Bro, I don't know where I'm going. Hello? Yo. <laughs> Yo, his face look busted. What the f I know what really happened here. I was called to warn you all by the name I cannot speak of. The day of judgment will come. Hey All right, buddy. Hello. Yo, this beeping. Oh, my God. Oh, I like this song. Yo, what's up, bro? Oh, God, you made it. Hmm? Oh, no. It's just that I recently heard someone fell off the bridge you just crossed. What? There was an old lady that said she saw a man walking down the street and his legs were completely bent the other way. Scary stuff. If only this was a true story. Ha ha! Ha! Sorry. Okay, you weirdo. What is this? I think some food are expired by the time you start your shift. Can you take them off the shelves for me? Your manager. Okay. What is this? UCCTV? Yeah, what's, what's going on? Who just entered? I'm trying to get used to the controls. I'm still like a mess. All right, where's where's homeboy going? Oh, I don't I don't like this. Take items. Yes. Hello, sir. I'm just taking the trash out. Don't mind me, bro. He's gone. Where are you going? Come uh, back. He fucking left me. You. Bitch. You are horrible. He's a horrible. He's a horrible friend, man. He really just left me. He said, all right, you're here. Time to clock out. Hello, sir. It's kind of late for a delivery man at this time, huh? We recently incorporated the system exclusively for convenience stores that are open late at night. Looks like this package is directly shipped to this store. Oh, and the name matches your tag. This is for you. For me, a gift. I mean, don't mind if I do. I guess we're taking it home. Okay, what the fuck is happening? Is that about to explode? Can we close the door? We got a movie now? Dinner and a movie? I guess. Watch closely. Not really, but I guess. Oh, yeah, I guess we just left. <laughs> no, she just loved getting a package and getting teleported home. Love that. Bro, is it watching me take out the trash? That would be awkward. What was, what the f*** was that? You and your boyfriend got on matching J's, but your son got on Velcro Transformer shoes from Payless. But that's none of my business. <laughs> what was that? I must have been cooking that shit. I don't know what that was. There's nothing in here. Uh, oh wait, we can literally see the cookie. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Another night of work, bro. At least we didn't get jumped in. What the hell? This is the first night? Wasn't, was it what? What, what? Wasn't what we just did the first night? Oh my fucking God, Enigma. <laughs> that actually scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I would just quit the shot. I would too. I really would. I mean, <laughs> I really would. Hey, hey, so I heard you reported that the doors would open on their own. Well, we got a guy to check the sensor, and it seems like the rings were loose. Oh? You thought it was some sort of poltergeist? Idiot! Damn, my bad. Like, I mean, I see those on TV all the time, but they're all scripted. Ghosts aren't real after all. <laughs> right. What's your name again? Steve? I'm gonna call you Steve. Steve, can you not fucking leave me? He's leaving. Please, Steve, please. Steve, please. 
please, Steve, please don't go. Baby, please don't go. Steve, please, Steve, don't leave me. What if I just stand in your way? Steve, what the? Oh my God. All right. Well, we're just screwed, chat, at this point. YOLO. I saw some rats behind the store yesterday. Someone must have left the garbage bin open. The first person to see this note has to get rid of the rodents ASAP. I know Steve read this note. I know Steve read this note. And he left it here for me. He's like, I'm gonna act like I didn't see sh Ew! Come here, you stupid rat. What do I do? Step on it? What the f Who did this? How do I... How do... What do... What am I supposed to do about this sh It looks like... Ew. This looks like a personal... Wait, this... You see, this is the place. This is... What the f***? Someone's here. Hello? Oh, it's an old lady. Alright, her slow ass is gonna take a while. It's alright. Alright, let's get these fucking nasty ass rats. Why the f*** are you just standing there? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> the vibes are off the vibes. The vibes! The vibes! The, vi the vibes! Ah! Ma'am, what's up with you, girl? What's up with you? Uh, huh? Where's Ken Kun? Wait, hold on. Mm -mm. I'm making her sound like she's like a hot, like 20 year old woman. She's more like a. You know where Ken Kun is? I thought I heard his voice. This is my daughter's house. What did you do? How dare you? What? Whoa, what do you mean, how dare I? How dare you? You stink up my bathroom. I can smell your shit from all the way over here, lady. Like, you couldn't do that shit at home. You really had to come over here with your fucking socks. What are you wearing? Where are your shoes at? Someone come get this woman. This game is like when you accidentally get too hot. Oh! I'll tell you, it's broken. I'm not gonna. I mean, I see it. I'm not going over there. What the? F Hi. Hi. Nah, cause y'all. What? <laughs> he said, "Ooh, it fucking dipped." <laughs> what he saw me, bro? Hello, sir. Welcome. Why are you looking at me like that? Yes? Good to see you again. Oh, he's a delivery dude. Oh, you know the unstoppable trend on ordering everything online? Anyway, there seems to be a package that needs to be picked up here. A package? Do I got a... Oh, this package? I guess this package. Alright, here you go, buddy. See ya. Tell me if you see any kids out there. Oh. Okay. Unnecessary. What the heck is this? Get an umbrella? Yes. I mean, we are gonna need it. It's raining. Nice umbrella. Oh. Who is knocking? It's this freaking hour of the day. Hello? Oh, the package. Is it another stupid tape? It is another stupid tape. Bro, whoever this cameraman is, they suck. That's all I have to say. They suck. And I didn't close the door, bro. I could have gotten killed. Oh, it, oh no. Oh no. Why is it so loud? Oh my god. Yo, Steve. Hello, Steve. Bro, Steve isn't here. I think Steve's that too. Ah! Steve. Now I know you did not just fucking jump out that fucking locker, Steve. I know you did not just jump out that locker. You, you see, he, he wasn't, wasn't dead, dead, but he's gonna, gonna be dead, dead now. He'll be dead today, and it's gonna be me.
Boo! I got you good, huh? Okay, okay, fine. I'll stop. I promise I won't do it again. You better not, Steve. Honestly, take your ass home, Steve. I hope you get jumped outside. She got, you got work in the morning, man? Damn, she got food. There you go. Hey, are you the only one working here? I can't believe this. What kind of manager puts a girl on the night midnight shift alone? Period. Talk to him. Talk dangerous, woman. Dangerous. I know. I see you have no choice. Well, at the very least, I'll give you my protection charm. Now, be careful. Well, thank you. Hope it's our thundering stop. What the... What the f is that? Is that in the bathroom? Uh, the toilet. Sh oh, oh, okay. They locked the door on me. All right, toilet. Relax. You know, convenience store. I'm getting robbed. Just kidding. I don't care. Steal everything you want at this point. What? You bitch. They just messed up. How dare? How dare? And the toilet's still going crazy. Is someone in the computer room? Loud, bro, what keyboard we have that is typing that loud? And where did you go? You in the, bro, Steve, if it's you again, we're gonna have issues. Okay, what is this? A talisman? Why would we even keep this? What am I supposed to do with this? I'm scared. Am I really supposed to go here? Hello? Why would I go here? Exercise the door? What? How does one even know how to do that? What the f Why do I have this? Open AC? Why? Why? Why me? A key? I don't want to open anything. We just put exorcism on that door. Why would I want to go in the door? Mama ain't raised no Ah! Four. There's a dead guy. It's the manager. And I'm locked in here. And I'm locked. And there's a bunch of dead rats. And I'm locked. And I'm locked. I'm... I don't, I'm standing in this corner. I'm, I'm standing in this corner. Nobody's home. Nobody's home. Nobody's home. He's looking at me. No way we go back to work on the third night. Ain't no way we just been through that sh and we're going back to work. Call the fucking police. There's no way. What a nightmare. Was it all a dream? No, it was not a dream. And the door's locked. Oh, f no. You're a hard worker, bro. F this. Yeah, this person. <laughs> somebody has to pay the bills. <laughs> You're like, bro, mama, I got demons at work. Somebody has to pay the fucking bills. Take your ass to work. <laughs> Ain't no way. This game is awfully long. I'm kind of tired of uh, the pain I'm going through at the moment. My mom will be spreading sage everywhere. <laughs> oh, we gotta go back. What the f Yo, this person really don't like crust. They got crust all over the flow. Okay. And there's a child. Nah, we don't play that. Give me get me off this fing t mm, mm Give me off this fing TV. 
Bro, but he ain't there. Oh, there's a TV here. Turn it on. Oh, there's a TV here, too. There's TVs here, too. Uh. Hello? There's TVs on every aisle, bro. I had no words. Whoever redeemed that sound, I think I just shot myself. Thank you. Me too. Whoever redeemed that sound, do you hate me or do you hate me? Oh, nah, just crying. Ew, why does it sound like a, someone laughing? Like, ah, ha, ha. Bro, why is she crying in my storage room? <laughs> Bro, go. Bro, go the f home. <laughs> what the f What? He released a uh huh huh. Uh huh huh. Like, what the fuck kind of cry was that? Bro, that, was, that took me way too long to figure out. And we still got night. How many nights are there? I'm really mad. She was like, uh huh huh. Send it off to someone else? Yeah, get the shit out of my house. Are you sure? I'm positive. Goodbye. I don't want to watch this shit. The f this ain't my fucking problem. No more. Send it to any other that's not me. Ending one, period. I was sickened by the whole situation. I sealed the VHS tape carefully and decided to send it off to the sender. Fortunately, the sender's address was on the box. When I was done preparing to send it off, I felt a tense showed my tense shoulders relax. Too much have happened in a short span. My mind couldn't keep up. I knew I had to rest, but I couldn't fall asleep. Everything about the store terrified me. Inevitably, I had to sit down on a chair to clear up my head. What did I see? What was everything? I witnessed even real. Although I was scared, I knew I had to know the truth. I wanted to know what had happened and why. So I turned to the internet about the store. I found a few old articles and forums talking about the location where the building was made. One comment on the strange forum stood out to me and said, There seem to have been some gruesome killings at the property. I searched for the same user's comments in 2009. There was a case where a man who was the main stray of the family committed a murder-suicide. I determined to investigate the incident further. September 14th, the man killed his child in, with a kitchen knife while his wife was off at a grocery shopping to a local supermarket. When the wife came back, it said that she was killed in an extreme way and then hung himself on the same day. They say that the woman was pregnant at the time of her death. The woman was killed with several nails punctured onto her with her child in her stomach. Jesus. I wanted to throw up from the obscene images. But I knew I had to continue. There was a guy that replied to the comment and said that he worked at the someplace. Asked him what? According to him, the man was often harassed by his boss at work and had complained to several colleagues. On the day of the incident, it is said that he had an emotionless face. Imagining what the family had gone through, depression and hatred occupied my head. It was very painful. With tears in my eyes, I closed the internet gently and called the manager to talk about everything I had experienced during the night shift that I have discovered. However, the calls were never picked up. It was the same over and over again. When I received a phone call from Mr. Jose, the franchise leader who I have never met, I had a bad feeling about it. And then a shivering voice, he said, manager is dead. I couldn't believe, I couldn't breathe. It was... So it wasn't a dream. And when I asked about the place where he was found, Mr. Jose said that there was an old storage behind the convenience store and he was found there a day after his death. I dropped my phone. I quit my part-time job with a broken feeling. After quitting, I could have, I would avoid going near the convenience store whenever I could because every time I passed in front of the store, I would always feel a sharp stare towards me and 
wouldn't be able to help but try it as quickly as possible so not to look in the big the building a day later the store has closed down the reasons seemed to be due to poor management but further details were not publicized at that point i didn't have the means or the courage to examine it anymore after a while the memories of the convenience store started to haze down a bit one day as i pressed as I passed by the now closed down store, I heard a child's voice. There I saw a woman. When I looked in my hand, I had picked up one of the rusted nails that had fallen in the middle of the site. You have picked it up? Are you saying you're dead? I'm confused. She picked up one of the rusted nails? It was the evil toilet all along. The f toilet.